What's good, boys? I was Spalding here. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing a review on the And One Maverick Walmart shoes. All right, so I'm gonna adjust the camera real quick. All right, so um, I got these at Walmart for like I don't know twenty-ish dollars. And uh, so first, we're gonna go with the looks. I'd say they look pretty cool. Um, I like the different colors in the sole and the like wave pattern on the upper. Uh, there's a lot of stitching all around, several layers. You can see there. Um, laces are cool. I like the black and red theme. We've got the N1 guy on the tongue. Uh, inside is basically the same. Got a little pull tab here on the back. That's cool. I don't know if you can see that in the camera but the and one guy has like an outline of where he's supposed to fit and he doesn't fit in there at all so on my rating i'm probably going to give it like i don't know a six or seven out of ten so that's cool and uh all right so we're going to move on to traction so traction in this thing is actually pretty freaking good this uh outsole rubber is really uh actually uh high quality even though it's from Walmart for like 20 bucks, it surprised me. Uh, there's a little flex screw right here. It's relatively decently sized. But um, anyway, I say it's non-marking right there. But uh, it's actually pretty good. Herringbone pattern does a pretty good job. Um, so I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. Actually, no. I'll give it an 8. It's really good. It's It actually like squeaks on the floor. And um, I didn't find myself wiping that often. Alright, so now on to the, like, sole cushioning. So there's this upper layer of softer uh, rubber or foam. I don't really know. I think it's probably rubber. And this uh, second outsole layer, which is really, really thick. Um, and is thicker in, other, in uh, different places. But um, overall, um, it's kind of cushioned. Like, the, uh, the insole does a pretty good job. But this... Uh, upper soft layer um, is just too small in certain places to really make it comfortable because of how thick the um, outsole rubber part is. There's just so much of it, and that also affects the weight. So that goes into our next category. It It's a really heavy shoe, and uh, it's really not that flexible. And um, yeah, alright, so now on to like support, I guess. So, out in the heel area, I'd say it, uh, I didn't experience that much heel slippage. Uh, it was pretty good back there, actually. Uh, you just had to tie it tight, and you'll actually be pretty locked in. And the forefoot, I wasn't experiencing much sliding. It accommodated my wide foot pretty well. Um, so, um, and the uh, sole extends a little bit into the, uh, like upper because like your foot is seated deeper in the shoe than like this goes up so your like your foot is actually like here-ish so that means you get a little bit of support on your ankle there plus all the support you get from the high top look all right so that's kind of more support now we're going to go to like lockdown uh the uh the laces have an extra hole up here so if you need it tighter you definitely can and with that, like, squeeze there, there's really not much room for your heel to move. And uh, the laces do work. Like, it, it does tighten up the shoe really well and gives you a nice, secure feel. So for support and lockdown, I'd probably give it, like, a 4 or 5. No, I'll give it a 5. All right, so, like I said earlier, this really thick rubber, it just doesn't move at all, even though there's this flex groove. So for, like, weight and flexibility, it's just terrible. It's, like, a 2 out of 10. It's like a really, really heavy shoe with hardly any flexibility. Alright, um, so breathability. The only like real places it's breathable are like this area on the forefoot with um, you know the ventilation holes and the uh, mesh tongue. But um, they don't really do that good of a job because these right here, they're just so small and... I don't know if they actually even go through. I'll shine a light in it right now. So I can tell that the shoe's breathable. If I can see the light, like from uh, the lights above me, 
go through the like holes into the shoe. But I didn't see any of that, so honestly, those holes just might be fake. I'm not sure. But, I mean, you really can't fake mesh, so, I mean, yeah. So, it, they're probably going to get really smelly really quickly. So, uh, yeah, for that, breathability is probably like a 3 out of 10. So, not that great. Um, yeah, I mean, so overall, I'd say it's a pretty aesthetically pleasing shoe especially for its price point which is like 20 bucks i think it was like 1988 or something but um if you like the heavier feel and you just like pretty much sit there like just sit in the paint or something these will probably do the job especially for uh you know the price point but um they they do look cool for sure they're just not flexible and really not that like soft in the sole like, and because of that inflexibility and how much weight there is with this, uh, like, outsole rubber here, it's just, like, it's so hard to really get going. Like, moving-wise, just, like, accelerating and... But you you stop on a dime in these because this traction is surprisingly really good. But, um, overall, I, I'd give it, like, a 6 out of 10. It's f especially for, uh, like, just being able to go out and just grab it at Walmart. It, it's actually quite impressive. Because, I mean, it kind of looks like a Jordan, but, like, it's cool. Like, I, I think it's a cool-looking shoe. It's got, like, a little speckle on the sole here, the upper part, the black part. Um, there's a little texture right here, here as well. Um, there's really not much else to go over, because I've already given my overall rating. But, I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's cool. All right, I'll finish this up. All right, bottom line, it's affordable, and it looks cool, but unfortunately, it's heavy. So, I personally, as like a guard, I probably would not gravitate towards these, but again, if you're like a center, these are actually a valid pickup for you. Well, all right, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.